Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing really well. So as you can tell by our title, today I'm going to be filming a massive haul for you guys. And I guess it's also kind of going to be a review on the company shopping box. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, link is in the down below if you don't. But if you do, you would have seen that a few weeks ago, I uploaded a photo on the company shopping box. And I asked you guys if any of you had used the company, what were your thoughts, what was your experience like? And all of you who replied said that it was amazing, you really enjoyed the experience, your products came really fast and it was well packaged and all that stuff. So I did a little bit more research on the company and I decided to try it out. So if you didn't know what Shop and Box was, it's kind of like a mail forwarding service, but it's not. It's a little bit different. So you have websites like MyUS and Ship It To, where you kind of pay like a subscription, so like a certain amount a month or a year, and you get given an address where you could ship your orders to, which then get forwarded to you. Shop and Box is a little bit different. So you sign up to the website, no fees or anything, to sign up and you create a wish list so you can buy anything from any websites it can be from multiple websites it doesn't matter but I think for an order it has to be in the same country but yeah so you would add whatever products and items that you want into your wish list and when you've created your wish list you then pick the items that you want to buy and you create an order now that order then gets assigned to a boxer and that boxer actually goes out and buys all those items for you and yeah consolidates them into one box and then ships them right to you how it works is you don't pay anything at the start until you place an order when your boxer gets assigned and they've established the prices of all the items and domestic shipping you then get to give an invoice one which you will have to pay in order for the boxer to go out and buy your items so you pay that boxer goes out buys your stuff and when they come in when you've got all the items if you've chosen to buy them online or whatever when everything is together you will then be given invoice two which is the price for shipping and there will also be a kind of a boxer shopping box fee i think it's depending on how much your order is it can be anywhere from 10 to 14 percent of the whole order price so yeah it turns out really well i mean shipping like when you think 10 to 14 percent of the whole order it kind of sounds like a lot but it's not it's awesome but i think i recommend this more for if you're going to buy a bunch of stuff if you're only going to buy like one or two items it's probably not like the best idea but i really love the service and i'm so excited to get into this haul for you guys so i'm just gonna jump into it right away and i've literally got a massive ass box well, it's not a massive box but it's like full of products so i'm just going to jump into it okay so the first website of course i placed an order on was sephora now the only reason i went with like a mail forwarding service was because australian makeup prices are insane like i'll give you an example a mac lipstick in the us is 16 dollars whereas or i don't know if it's like 16 or 15 or something like that but in Australia, it's $36. So there's a massive difference. So I kind of want to be crazy. So I'm going to have to whiz through all this because there is a lot to get through. But the first things I bought from Sephora are the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Highlighters. Oh my God, I have been dying for these, but I have not been able to find them anywhere. So I bought three shades. I bought Moonstone, Opal, and Rose Gold. Now this one is Moonstone very pretty i haven't opened these yet i haven't had the opportunity to play with them yet i did however use a few of the products but i was being cheeky but i haven't used these yet this one is moonstone i'm not sure if you can see that but that is what it looks like the next one is rose gold i think this one was the one i was most excited about i am obsessed oh, that is so pretty i'm obsessed with anything that is rose gold i mean the rose gold jewelry and pretty much anything okay i'm just going to state i don't know what the hell is up with my camera i can see this yellow tint to my videos and i don't like it so i need to sort this business out asap but that was rose gold the next one and final one is opal i'm excited to see this one Ooh. okay now i know why this one was such a big hit that is what that looks like 
So that's all three of them next to each other. They're very, um, they don't feel like powdery. They feel really, um, not buttery, but like smooth, like silky smooth. It's really cool. I'm excited to try these actually. I'll let you guys know how they all go. I probably have blog reviews on everything. So the next things I got were two of the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. I got the shade Vampira, obviously, because I'm like the biggest vamp you'll ever meet. And I also got the shade Boho 5. I knew I was going to struggle pronouncing that one. I still can't pronounce it. But this is Vampire. I love the packaging, like how slim and long it is. But this is probably one of my favorite things of life now. This is what Vampire looks like. It is just stunning. And this is one of those lipsticks. It's a little bit different to the Lime Crime Velveteens. I find when you put those on your lips, they're kind of like a, a liquidy texture. But this one's a, li a little thicker. Like, if you've used any of the Velveteens, you would know that it's really like watery and liquidy, which I don't mind. But these are a lot thicker and they just stay put, which I really do like a lot. But this is, I'm not even going to bother pronouncing the name, but it's Boho 5. That's just how I want to say it. Whoops. And that is what that looks like. It's like a deep pink with a purple tint to it, I guess you could say. It's very pretty. I'm excited to create new looks of all these products. Like, it's so exciting. But I've heard so much about the Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks, so I definitely needed to pick up and I'll definitely be getting like Lolita because that was the one I wanted but it was out of stock so I just got those two okay so the next things I got which I went a little bit crazy for are the Tarte Maracuja Crisis Concealer if you follow me on Instagram again you would know how obsessed I am with them and how disappointed I am that I can't get my hands on them in Australia which is so damn annoying but of course I stocked up, I bought six. I bought two of each shade that I used. So I got two of the shade light. I bought two of the medium neutral. And I also bought two of the light to medium sand. I'm definitely going to do a video with these. A lot of you have kind of got like mixed feelings about them because I get a lot of questions about how I use them. I personally like to use them underneath the eye. It's a very, very thick concealer, but I like to use them to get that really flawless or washed out under eye, but I do it without using a lot of product. So I think I definitely need to do a tutorial with these to show you guys how I use them. But yeah, that is some other stuff that I bought. Some more face products. I am completely obsessed with face products. Like, forget eyeshadows and whatever. I'm all about the face. I'm obsessed with trying out new products for the face. So for, I bought three concealers by the brand by Terry. I've heard so many things about by Terry. I just never tried them because it's expensive in Australia. So since I had the opportunity to buy things from the US, I thought why not pick up some of these? So I actually opened one up and I applied it. This is sorry, let me just say this is the by Terry Dentalus Concealer and it's like an anti-wrinkle dark circle eye bring eye bag serum corrector so it pretty much doesn't wrinkle it covers dark circles and your eye bags and it kind of corrects all that kind of stuff so I have this like on one side of my face only and I'm like moving my face and making all types of silly faces but it did not bite like it didn't crease and it didn't wrinkle so I was really impressed and I also set it with powder which I find that a lot of the time after you set things with powder, they kind of crease a little bit more and it still didn't crease. So I'm yet to like review this properly, but I'm really impressed with it so far. And I'll let you guys know how it goes. Definitely watch out for a blog review on these. But I also, from Sephora, got three of the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundations. I had heard so much about this. And I actually had one of my clients bring in one of hers because she kind of preferred me to use her foundation and I used it on her and it just looked amazing. I was like, wow, it's matte, it stays all day. She would like love the foundation and kind of told me a little bit more about it. So I thought I would go out and buy a couple. Not that I want out, I kind of just sat on my computer screen, but let's be real here. 
So this is what the bottom looks like. It's really, really cute. The thing that bothers me though is it doesn't have a pump. And when I kind of shake things out of bottles like this, I have a tendency of taking out too much. I admittedly waste a lot of product. Like I'm really bad like that, but I need to sort that out. Can you get pumps for these? Let me know in the description. Can you get pumps for the Estee Lauder Level Wear? Because that would be really awesome and convenient. But I got the shades one and one I renewed, one and two Ecru, and also six W one sandalwood. So I got a really light one, a medium one, and a dark one, which is kind of what I like to go for when I buy new foundations. I always buy three. I start off with three. I get a light one, a medium, and a dark one, and I mix. Also from Sephora, I bought two of the Bobbi Brown Tinted Eye Brighteners. Now these were recommended to me by my friend Ariel. If you don't follow Ariel on Instagram, you're missing out because he's one of the most amazing artists I know. I'll leave a link to his Instagram down below. Check him out. You will die when you see his work. Like he's just phenomenal. He's the best. But he was kind of giving me a bit of product advice and recommended the Bobbi Brown Tinted Eye Brighteners. So I bought two shades. The first one I got was White Bisque 2 and the second one, wait, what? Did I get two of the same shade? Oh hell no! Looks like I got two of the Light Bisque 2. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why you need to double check what you write. Make sure that you write the correct shades. I'm going to have to... Actually, I'm not really complaining. I can just keep one for myself and one for my freelance kid. The life of a freelance artist. This is what is the perk of sometimes accidentally getting dupes or doubles. Like, you can just keep one for yourself and then you just chuck one to your freelance kid. But why don't I just put that back in? But this is what it looks like. It's kind of like the correctors that I use, only a liquid form and it dries a lot quicker. So that is what it looks like. That is light bisque number two. And yeah, they're both light bisque number twos. Also in the concealer category, I got two of the Dolce & Gabbana Perfect Matte Concealers. I am a total concealer and foundation junkie. Even though I don't personally wear it all the time, I love trying out new ones and also adding some to my hands. Ooh, this packaging is nice. It's like a matte, like glass packaging. This is really cool. But this one is the shade Creamy 3. And that is what it looks like. I haven't tried these at all yet, so you may just see me try these out in my Instagram photos. But that one was Creamy 3 and this one is Ivory 1. I've got a, light, a really light one and a more medium one. Also from the same brand, I got two of the Perfection Veil Prep Press Powders by Dolce & Gabbana. I have been dying for these powders for so long. I'm just obsessed with these. The packaging for this is just so amazing. It's just so high end. It just feels, it feels nice. It comes in, the compact comes in a velvet pouch and there's like a little pocket here which holds the brush which I haven't taken out yet but that is what the brush looks like I'm just put that back in so this one is natural glow this one's a bit dirty already because I've been a little bit cheeky and I did use it on my under eyes I've had this makeup on for a few hours now and it's just the minute I put this powder on I was just like yes this is life this is I'm just gonna say it now, this is going to be my new favorite part of life. I am the biggest klutz, I'm such an idiot. I dropped it and I don't know if you can see the damn crack in it. I am just like, why me? Like, do you know that moment when you drop like a product and it just cracks? I was so scared that it would have shattered. When I picked it up, I just looked at it and I was just like, it could have been worse, really though. But that is natural glow. Yes, I'm probably gonna place another order and order like another five of these, like life, life, that's what it is. And I want all the shades. I did buy another shade, which I'll show you now. 
that one was natural glow the next one is soft blush now natural glow is a little bit more of a neutral to warm undertone whereas soft blush is a little bit more of a cooler so it's like more of a pink tone okay so i didn't drop this one guys but you never know i might drop it now oh god please don't but this one is soft blush i don't know if you can see though it's like slightly more of a pink tone but that is what it looks like I love it I think it's beautiful um, I'm yet to try this one out but we'll let you know how it goes for sure okay so the final item I got from Dolce & Gabbana was the well it's called the illuminator and it's pretty much a glow illuminate, illuminating powder I've been getting so tongue tied today you wouldn't believe like my intro took me a good half an hour that doesn't happen but <clears throat> okay so that's what it looks like the packaging to this is just it's so just classy and chic i love it but ooh, oh hey girl that's very pretty it kind of it's like a really light mauve color like let me swatch that oh, well you can't see it i can barely see it but this is going to be one of those cool things to play around with. So I also got from Sephora the Bobbi Brown Sheer Finish Pressed Powder. And I got the shade Pale Yellow Number 1. Let's open this. Ooh. That's cool. It comes with a powder puff. And it has the plastic on it. That is what it looks like. With my clients, it kind of depends on how I like to set their makeup, whether their skin is naturally like cool or warm. I like to vary between powders. Like I have like all different, I have translucent, I have colored, I have cool tones, warm tones, all that kind of stuff. So I think that's, I'm going to do a full freelance cute video. So for those of you I know that are going to ask, I will be doing a video showing you my full freelance kit, everything I have in it, what I, uh, I don't know, if it will be a really long video just showing you what I have, so I don't know if I'll actually show you or explain to you why or what I use the products for, but maybe I can do that in a separate video. Let me know what you guys want to see based on like freelance stuff. Favorite translucent powders, or what my, probably my favorite one of the moment, and it is a Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder in just translucent. That is what it looks like, nothing too fancy. It has a big translucent on the bottle, and yeah. Well, Trying to close the bottle. I think this is a jar, but that is that. And the final thing I got was from Nordstrom. How to differentiate? Where did I buy everything? Okay, so the buy Terry concealers were from a website called MyBeauty.com, and pretty much everything else was from Sephora, except for this. This is the Chanel Soleil Candé Chanel. This is like a sheer illuminating fluid. So I've got the Soleil Tan de Chanel, which is like the big bronzing makeup base. This is kind of similar, but this is a liquid. I am so scared that I'm going to drop this right now. I'm gonna put that. But this is what it looks like. I don't think you can see that at all, but I'll probably use this in a tutorial as well to show you guys. I don't know how it looks. I think this would be amazing for like dewy, like a really dewy, glowy look, which I absolutely love. Like I love dewy. But we already know this. But yeah, so pretty much I only bought things from Sephora, Nordstrom, and MyBeauty.com. I think it was called My Beauty. I'll double check. I'll leave links to everything down below, like the websites I bought stuff off. And yeah, and then I just got all those samples that you get with your orders. I got all these. This is what I love about like American like websites is that they give you samples like this which I like, which I appreciate more. Because when you buy things around here, you only get like little sachets. And I can't like tell if I like a product with just one use. Like I gotta use it a couple of times to know if I like it. And then if I like it, I might just buy it. So I think companies need to make like bigger sample sizes like this. I think this is like an awesome sample size. Just my import, but that is it. So that is everything I got. I feel like this video took a lot quicker for me to film than I thought it would, but I'm looking at all the products and it's a hell of a lot of products, but 
yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i also kind of got chatting with one of the ladies that shop in box shout out to rebecca i hope you're doing well but we kind of got talking let me just disclaimer this is not a sponsored video i'm not being paid to make this video this is my choice i really wanted to review this guy this sorry this company in case you know any of you guys are kind of like wondering about it thinking about it not too sure you wanted to suss it out i sussed it out for you and this was my review but i got talking to one of the ladies there and she was kind enough to give okay. <clears throat> so that is it for my shop and box haul i hope you guys enjoyed this i feel like this video took me a lot quicker to film than i thought it would i feel like i got through the products a lot quicker but whatever all the better but there was a lot of product and i'm just excited to go and play with it all look out for a bunch of reviews and stuff which i will definitely have up but one more thing i got talking to one of the ladies at shop and box let me just disclaim this is not a sponsored video this was a review i chose to do because i was curious about this company and in case anyone else is curious about this company i wanted to review it for you guys so you guys i like, know a little bit more about it but i got talking to one of the ladies and she was kind enough to set up a discount code for you guys if any of you were interested in trying out shopping box so i'm just going to read out what like the conditions of the discount code is so okay so the discount code will be heidi 2015 i will leave it down below for you guys and when you're talk when you place your order and you're talking to your boxer quote that quote heidi 2015 and you will be emailed a personal voucher code and that will be used for invoice two now the code will be valid for 10 days and it is only valid for orders $250 plus. So you have to spend $250 for invoice one for this code to be valid. Now, in case you guys are thinking that's a lot of money, think about it in a way where you don't have to be the only one to spend that $250. Like you can get together with your friends and your family and you can all order things that you guys want to make that money and everyone's happy. You all pay like split the price, split the shipping, it all works out great. I think it's a great idea and it's definitely something that I'm going to be doing with my friends and family, like in coming orders, because I'll definitely be using this again. Like back to you. order one, expect like order two, three, four, five. Like this is like in the beginning of a, of a new found relationship. Like this is a new love of mine, a new addiction to try and kind of hold tight. But yes, the discount code, Heidi 2015, will be valid for the next 10 days. It's definitely an awesome opportunity to try it out at a discounted rate, which is awesome. Just so you know, I don't get anything out of it. This is purely for you guys. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. That would mean the world. Also, let me know in the comments if you end up trying out the shopping box. Let me know if you've tried it out before or if you end up trying it out after this video. Let me know what you think and how your experience was. And yeah, I do my best to reply to every single comment I get. And yeah, so I will see you in my next video. Bye. P.S. I know I say and yeah a lot. I can't help it. I don't know why. It's just subliminal for me but it needs to stop it needs to stop i need to substitute it for another word we'll figure it out but have a great night or day wherever you guys are and i'll see you in my next video bye